Welcome to Morning Devotion for Monday, June 21st. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from Psalm 139, verses 13 and 14. For you created my inmost being, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful, I know that full well. Don't you love the, the smell of something new? Uh, new clothes, a new book, um, new baseball glove, new car. It, it, it's not so much the, the smell that is good. It's, it's just that there's a, a distinctive smell that's only there at the beginning of something when something is new or fresh. It's, it's exciting and fun to get something new. Now, do you ever wonder if God felt that way, if he was excited when he made the first person? He formed Adam out of dust. Uh, he took a, a clump of dirt and he, he formed some of it into eyes and some of it into a nose and some of it into into bones and, and internal organs, um, fingers and toes. And then he breathed life into this body that he had made. Just think of the joy that God must have felt as he looked at this special creature. The Bible even says that at the end of each day of creation, God made the same observation, it is good. And, you know, the more we think about uh, our bodies, um, the more we would have to agree with that assessment. Uh, all these things God made and gave to us, the, the bones and that give us structure, the ligaments and the tendons and the muscles and, and skin and blood, all working together to, to keep you alive, to keep you growing, to, to keep you healthy and regulate temperature and sweating when you're hot and shivering when you're cold. God designed all of that and gave it to us as a gift. And when we read this psalm, Psalm 139, we might think that that's all that David was talking about, that he's only talking about uh, the amazing bodies that God created. But he, he's not just talking about the physical body. He wrote, for you created my inmost being. Uh, if you want to know something funny about this verse, um, you know, we always think of our emotions as, as having something to do with our hearts. We'll talk about something someone having a, a broken heart when they're sad or or someone who's big hearted is is kind and welcoming uh in hebrew it was common to think of emotions as or originating from a different internal organ the kidney so in verse 13 uh which in most bibles um is translated as something like inmost being that word literally means kidneys so it, what it really is saying is, for you created my kidneys. But he was talking about his, he, his emotions, even his, his personality, uh, created as, as an amazing and a wonderful and a new creation, just as amazing and fascinating as the human body is. Uh, but there are all, all sorts of things in, in this world and, and in me, in my life, that keep me from thinking, uh, thinking and agreeing with David uh, what he wrote, where he wrote, I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I don't always feel like my body or my emotions or my personality are all that wonderful. Uh, to start with, the, the older you get, the, the fewer things that you can do. I, I get hurt more easily. I get tired more easily. Um, and I look around me and I see people who are better athletes and who are better looking and, and my emotions can get out of whack. Sometimes you feel down for no good reason or you get angry when things don't go your way. Now, I could go on and on, uh, but you know what I'm talking about. Uh, if God made us so wonderfully, then why aren't we wonderful all the time in every way? Well, it's the, answer, the answer to that is because of sin in the world. Sin infects our bodies and our emotions and our personality. It's why there's sickness. It's why people sometimes don't get along and why we can't stop comparing ourselves to others and we can't get over this, this self-centeredness that uh, seems to be driving everything that we we do. But you know what's, what's amazing about it? God still sees us as wonderful creations. And then what I don't mean by that is that even though we're not perfect, that he still sees something special in us, some redeeming quality that, that makes him think that we're pretty good anyway. But it's not that. He is happy and he is delighted with us and he loves each and every one of us and he sees his children as perfect all because of what Jesus did for us. Jesus is God's son and he became a human being so that he could live a perfect life and die on the cross 
to pay for the pay the punishment that we deserved. He was perfect for us, and now God sees us as his perfect, wonderful creations. And he promises that our bodies that right now are sinful and won't last forever, someday he will bring us to heaven where they will last forever, and we'll never get sick, and we'll never get sad, and we'll never get angry, and we'll never stop getting along, all because of what Jesus did for us. It's just like what David said, all your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for creating us and giving us our bodies and emotions and personalities. And we thank you for giving us your son who lived for us and who made us new, who brought us into your family and brings us to eternal life. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. Amen.